Hi YouTube, friends and family. I am a survivor and thriver here. Today I'm going to give you guys an update on my garden and show you a couple of other things that I have going on here. Okay? If you can see, I am so excited. I have a light seedling system going here. And um, I got this together yesterday, set it all up, and let me tell you what I'm growing for my seedlings. I have Cherokee purple tomato here, red bell pepper, sugar baby watermelon, butternut squash, and stevia. That's just what I have so far. Today, I'm also going to put some seedlings of... Um, some to tobacco plants together but I just wanted to show you guys what I have up here so far okay I'm so excited about this I think it's gonna take several days for me to actually get some growth but hey just grow <laughs> alright so let me take you guys to the back of the house if you want to know which light system I'm using this is it is called Jumpstart High Output T5 Grow Light System. I got this tip from LDS Prepper. This is the system that he and his wife are using and it's working out great. This little Rubbermaid container here houses my rock dust which is in this bag here, as well as my cottonseed meal. I heard that th these things are great for growing plants. The rock dust, it puts the minerals back into the ground and it makes your vegetables and fruit much sweeter. And I thought, okay, I give it a try. I, I, I'm just learning about gardening and I heard that it's completely organic and there's no way you can give the plants too much so I went ahead and added that on all of my plants and I'm excited to see the outcome of it okay going outside guys you are not going to believe the growth that I have look at this these are my carrots amazing can you see that guys oh my goodness I am so pumped about this these carrots are growing phenomenally as well as my lima beans check it out guys <laughs> i don't know if you saw the last video of when i videotaped the um, plants but this is phenomenal growth i am highly highly pleased with everything that's growing aside from this little garden bed here i have little containers here i have some garlic and onions growing in these little containers which are growing great and it's raining a little bit now so i'm trying not to get the camera wet too much um, but if you look down here i'm also growing some aloe vera and that's coming along very nicely okay sorry for the mess but i'm getting gardening on the way here this is my 275 gallon water tote that i haven't set up yet but i'm going to attach it to the rain gutter system here to my house to pull up, um, supply all of my plants with valuable rain water okay guys check this out these are my scotch bonnet peppers and I don't know if you can see it from here but look at this I'm growing peppers guys <laughs> and there are lots and lots of peppers inside of there Nothing has happened with my tomatoes yet. I think that I made a mistake with that and I should always start it inside. So I'm growing this inside as seedlings. These are red bell peppers. Guys, look at my okra. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Amazing. My beets. Amazing. Squash. Oh my goodness. Watermelon, the same thing. I think I made a mistake. I need to grow it inside. So I'm doing my seedlings with that as well. This 
these are onions I went to Home Depot the other day and I picked these up just to see how they would grow or if they would grow and uh, let's see what we have here oh this is also green bell pepper strawberries and this is a pineapple I bought out of the store I let it dry out and I planted it in here to see what will happen okay I don't know if you guys remember but from my last video I didn't have this wooden fence around my garden but as you can see I have it here now and I'm very pleased with it I haven't completely set up the system here as much or as well as I intend on doing but I have nothing but time which will be completed so there you go guys my garden if you guys have any suggestions or comments please put them below and um, just to let you know guys know I am so very excited there is one more thing I want to discuss with you guys one of my brothers he came up to me he's always the bearer of bad news <laughs> as far as safety and he told me how this guy was um, cutting the lawn in his front yard poor guy and these other guys came up to him robbed him shot him and killed him and I tell you it was just it made an impression on me I was so disgusted with the whole situation so he came up to me, he said, you know what, that, now you have that fence around you while you're doing gardening, someone could easily sneak up on you. What are you going to do about it? I thought about it. And I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I went out and um, got me a few things to ensure that if someone did that to me, at least I have a fighting chance out in the garden. And I don't know if you guys can see me too well, but I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. And show you exactly what I'm talking about. He asked me what I would do. Well, guys, this is what I would do. Check it out. This is what I would do. Okay? I hope no one tries to take advantage of me <laughs> while I'm out here gardening or in any other type of situation. I don't look for trouble, but I'm also a fighter. And if you want to be like me, I'm a survivor and thriver. Out, guys.